So this is the entrance into the reptile house. This is for the behind the scenes package only. And as we come inside here, this is where the guests will have an opportunity to be able to interact with some of our reptile species as a one-on-one -on -one basis. We'll be able to explain some information about the species we have in here, as well as being able to give them a chance to feed them, which is a once, well, it's a very, very unique experience. This is something which uh, I've definitely not experienced in other zoos around here, but yeah, let's go inside and have a look then. <laughs> yeah. Come on, girl, don't worry. It's okay, I know, I know, I know. You're seeing a bit confused. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, big guy, how are you? Hmm? Hey? Remember me? Remember me? <laughs> a red tail boa. When I hold him like this, the way he uses his body and the way he uses his tail, he'll wrap around my arm like it's a tree branch. Basically, when we have him out, we will always have the head with us like this. So if you want to hold his body, you can. So this is what the guests will be able to do. When the animal is, let's say it's a really active animal, let's say it's like a gazelle. Gazelle usually will be running around scared of a bus, scared of other animals, sort of very alert, very cautious. If that animal is now laying down, not jumping up, not running, very slow, very lethargic, not really showing much activity, there's a sign that something's not right. That's when observ observations will be made over a day or two, mainly throughout the first day, if we notice that the behavior is getting worse and worse, and then they start laying down, and then they're not moving at all, we know it's something serious, and we have to bring the animal in. If the animal starts recovering, then we leave them be, and we let them carry on. Usually it's just giving a dose of medicine, but on the odd occasion, there will be situations where we have to bring them in and that's when they come into here. But the main one I wanted to bring out is the dart. Okay, so that's a perfect example of the dart which we use. So that's the dart and the needle is there as well. That's not the needle, this one's the needle. <laughs> there we go. So those are the needles which I put onto the dart, okay, as you see there. And that's the dart itself. So that dart will be charged with air inside it. So you can see there's a little rubber stopper which drops there. So the dart is charged with air as a way to make sure that it's ready and loaded. That's how it's loaded. The medicine will be put inside and when it's shot, the needle will go in and the air will force a large amount of pressure, like, like a syringe, just like a syringe when you push it, but instead it's coming from a, from a dart and it hits the animal, pushes the medicine inside, and then when the animal will feel it's there, almost like a fly, brushes backside against a tree, the dart will fall out and we pick it up at the end of the day. That's usually how it works. That's why some guests in buses, you will see on occasion, not often, but on occasion you do see a dart laying in an enclosure, that's the reason why. It's us basically giving our animals medication. Now, this one is one of the interesting ones, the African lion, and the reason is, because we also have that. These are the teeth. Now this is what the guests will be able to have a proper look at when they actually come and visit. And you can have a look and feel yourself how big these teeth actually are. It's absolutely incredible. And just comparison to my thumb, and I've got quite big hands. So <laughs> these things are, 
incredible, <laughs> to say the least. In regards to the behind the scenes, you will be able to experience two of the rhinos coming in, where you will then have a very close encounter and being able to brush the rhinos with a very thick, short brush, or have a chance to feed them as well. Two of the elephants will be coming in to uh, this area here, where you will be able to then feed the elephants. Hello everyone, my name is Mac, one of the animal trainers here in Dubai Safari. You know what folks, here in Dubai Safari, in training our animals, we do not force them or we never use any kind of physical punishment. In this way, we build a relationship based on trust. If they don't want to cooperate, we just let them do whatever they want to do until they're ready to cooperate again. Mm -hmm. 